everyone, my name is Miranda and welcome to Creative Living. I love to do home decor projects and a lot of DIYs. <laughs> so for this one, I made this gorgeous teardrop wall decor piece. I've seen something similar to this on Wayfair. That's where I got my inspiration. I've seen several of them, but I really like the one that I've seen on Wayfair. Uh, last um, week I had mentioned um, adding steps in my videos, like step one, step two, step three. About 80% of you guys wanted to do the steps. You loved it. So thank everyone for your feedback. That was about maybe 10% or so that really didn't care for it. And the other 10 was just like, you know what, do what you want to do that makes you comfortable. What do would you prefer to do? What I've done was I took everybody's advice <laughs> and I, I had the steps, but they're very, very subtle and minimal. So I've just done three steps into this and you'll see it's a little bit different than last week. So I hope everyone likes it, of course, but I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. For this project, I purchased 12 of those punch bowl spoons that are in the wedding section of Dollar Tree. The first step is to prepare your spoon handles. I started out by melting the spoon handles. I used my hot knife, and if you don't have one, you could totally use um, a hacksaw or the tip of your glue gun to melt these. I've done both of those methods, and they work just fine. Once all 12 pieces were cut, I glued two of the spoon handles together facing each other to make a teardrop shape. I used E6000 epoxy glue on these that you see in the video. I actually tried hot glue at first and it really didn't take that good, so I applied a little bit mower. Then I had a big bulky pile of a hot glue that just didn't look pretty. So it and it also made it a little bit heavier compared to the ones that I used E6000 on. The E6000 didn't show up and it just really looked like one whole piece and that's what I was looking for. I couldn't decide if I wanted to use bling wrap or paint it or do the Mod Podge and glitter. So I've done a round of testing and you could do a lot of different looks with this. But for me, I really liked the pop of the silver so I went with the Mod Podge and glitter. I applied Mod Podge on the outside of the handles and the rim. Don't forget the rim of the handles on both sides. And then I just sprinkled the glitter once that was dry. And I applied another coat of Mod Podge so the glitter wouldn't shed. I've used hairspray before and that works great too. The second step is preparing the inside of the teardrops. So I picked up um, some wine glasses, these plastic wine glasses at Dollar Tree in the wedding section. They have a um, six pack of silver and they have like more of a, a mirror finish. And they also have an eight pack of the clear ones. The only part that I'm using of this wine glass is the bottom part. So I'm gonna reference that as the plate just for this video to make it match i simply repeated the same step with the mod podge and glitter i applied the mod podge i sprinkled the glitter i let it dry and i reapplied mod podge for the final coat over the glitter then i used e6000 a quarter of the way on the rim of the plate and i added just a touch of gorilla hot glue to make it hold immediately and i uh, would take my plate and my teardrop and center it in the center of the teardrop at the widest part. Once it grabbed, I would flip it over and apply more hot glue on the back. And I would hold these pieces together for a couple of minutes. And I actually was sitting in front of a fan, so I'd face the glue toward the fan and the glue would dry a lot faster. And I repeated this for all six of my teardrops. So I did let them sit for a little while and uh, I came back to them and I just picked up each one and I was testing them. I was shaking them pretty good. I gave them all a really good hard shake. So I would know for a fact that I won't have any issues later on with it like falling apart or not holding up really well. I did have two pieces that had a little wiggle in it. So I went in with some more hot glue until I could shake it and it was, you know, stiff. I wanted to be able to shake it and it feel like it was all one part this is totally optional i wanted to hide that bulky glue in the back of these plates i just i just really didn't like the way that looked and i do not know why this hot glue um came out like so tarnished looking but anyway i know nobody's gonna see it because it's facing the wall 
But what I done was I simply took another plate part. Um, I used the one from the silver wine glasses and stuck it in the back of the glittered piece. And this worked out perfectly. And it gave it a little bit of dimension and a pretty shine from angles. Then I used a pack of round napkin rings, and these also come in a pack of six. If your Dollar Tree doesn't carry napkin rings, you could totally use those little round plastic pill holders in the medicine aisle. So I made these match with Mod Podge and glitter as well. My third step was assembling all of my pieces. I glued the napkin rings in the center of the plate with hot glue. I filled this center hole where the stem of the wine glass would go. I filled it with hot glue because if you don't, you'll end up re redoing this step over and over. So yeah, fill the center of it and just let that sit. Then I just laid out my teardrops kind of like I seen in the picture on Wayfair. I've noticed right before I took pictures of this, like literally right before, I ended up putting another teardrop together i wasn't going to because i didn't think that i had enough pieces but i did round up some scrap pieces i had so you know i used 14 total punch bowl spoons to make seven of the teardrops so you could hang each piece up individually especially if you were going to make a different you know type of design what i done was i glued together the parts of the teardrops that were touching one another using e6000 and hot glue it took really really well so all the pieces came together nicely and when i would go to pick up um, like one section of the teardrops i had the entire set as one solid unit these are just pictures of different designs that i took so i could show you guys what all you could do with this project you could use the battery operated tea light candles for this or um, stick like even a pretty rose in the center of the napkin rings I want to thank Miss Brenda. She's a really dear, sweet lady that I met here on Creative Living. She reached out to me out of the blue one day and just was an angel. She's been just a huge inspiration to me and has helped in so, so many ways. And I just really want to take a moment to thank you, Brenda. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can customize it and make this any color you want or make it the sunburst, starburst. A uh, little design there, but Mira is behind. We'll see you very soon in another video. Y'all have a very wonderful and nice weekend. Bye. This is a quote from Frog Push, and she says, "If you're not happy where you are, you'll never be happy where you're going." Thank you so much for sharing. And if you know of a quote that has inspired you, as always, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you'll put the word "quote" beside it, it's much easier for me to find it. And yeah, that's it. So thank you all again, and I'll see you guys very soon.